Okay, we are going to jump right in. I am logged into Sync to CRM, as you can see on the dashboard. I am in the Profiles tab. Now, this is a clean app on our uh, dev server. So I don't have any profiles set up. By, and by profile, that's what we call a sync. Uh, so each sync to a lead ad or each custom audience would be called a profile for us. However, I do have already, as you can see, several both Facebook and Infusionsoft accounts connected. So I'm assuming that you already have that done. You would have done that when you set up your account uh, with us, the Sync to CRM, but you can always add more right here with the Connect New Account button. But I'm assuming that you've already got these done. So I'm going to go back here to the Profiles tab, and let's start out by creating a custom audience. Now, so we're going to use data in our Infusionsoft app in order to create a custom audience in our Facebook ad account. To do that, I click Create New. It asks whether I want to do a custom audience or lead ad. I say custom audience, continue. Which Infusionsoft account is this data coming from? You can see all of them are listed here. We're going to use my Infusionsoft account. And which Facebook ad account is it going to? Again, that would be my ad account. I say continue. It asks me to give the audience a name. So what we're going to do here is we are going to do the sync to CRM all contacts. And I can put a description here if I want, all sync to CRM contacts, uh, the Department of Redundancy Department. Ooh, uh, select the ad account because um, there are actually multiples connected here to my account. And then I say continue. Now it's going to ask me what list do we want to use to create this account. I can choose either, as you see, a tag or uh, further down, if I go way down this list because I have a lot of tags, I'm going to hit my saved searches, which are going to be past these X's and Z's down here. Okay, coming up any moment now. I'm trying not to go. There they are saved searches. Um, so um, you can see uh, customers, email list, etc. But in this case, we are going to just say um, all contacts. And I will say continue. Now I can choose my sync interval. I can do manual three hours. Uh, I can do every week, 24 hours. We're going to do, we want it every three hours because we want this thing updated as often as possible. And I, when I click continue, you will see that, um, wow, there it's already synced. So it's taken those 4,143 contacts and created a custom audience with this name in Facebook, and it will keep those synced every three hours. So let's go back over here to Facebook to my ad account. And let's go to Tools, Audiences, and see if that has shown up. And there it is, right there. Sync to CRM, all contacts, created on 1.3, and uh, an estimated size. Remember, these are only guesstimates on uh, Facebook's part. That's why they're all round numbers. But uh, a guesstimated match rate of about 1,800 of those contacts. So that is how we create a custom audience. And this will stay synced every three hours. And we can go back and create as many of those as we want. Um, one of the things you should know is, oops, even if these, even if you create a bunch of these that are currently empty, because you are going to be creating a funnel that has, uh, let's just say that you're thinking about a webinar funnel. And at some point in the future, you're going to have lists that you uh, custom audiences that you want synced called did attend and did not attend you would go ahead and in the same way that you set your campaign up in advance you would set these custom audiences up in advance too and set the ads up in advance too and then as those tags get added in infusionsoft they will fill up these custom audiences and they will begin to show the ads to whomever 
is appropriate. That's really the idea behind the syncing of this data with uh, this Facebook data uh, to, or Infusionsoft data to Facebook. Okay, so.